I've been using technology in my classes for several years. Um, starting a long time ago when we first started using Blackboard, I would write qu quizzes on Blackboard and have my students go in and, and do their online quizzes. It was much more difficult than it is now, but I tried. <laughs> In a math class, there are a lot of ways to use the technology in the classroom. Uh, the document camera is one of my favorite tools because I can write and have my, my images projected on the screen without turning my back to the students, and I can direct my voice toward the class rather than over my shoulder. One of the best ways to use the document camera is when we're demonstrating a graphing calculator function. Uh, in the old days, we would have a poster that showed a picture of the graphing calculator on it, and we could point to the buttons that we were pushing, but the students couldn't see the display that was supposed to appear, so they didn't know if they were doing it right or not. And then after that, they came out with a little screen that you could lay on an overhead projector that would display the screen of the graphing calculator, but then you couldn't see what buttons you were supposed to push. So I guess you could combine the poster with your overhead projector screen. The document camera solves that whole issue because you can lay the calculator directly on the document camera, zoom in, you can point to the buttons you're pushing, and at the same time the students can see the display on the screen so they know whether or not they're doing it correctly on their own calculator. They know what it's supposed to show. I also use the clickers, especially in my large classes. Uh, throughout my lecture I'll have clicker questions set into my lecture to keep the students engaged and just to get an idea of whether or not they are understanding the material up to that point in the lecture. We also use an online homework system, so it's really convenient to be able to take my laptop to class and demonstrate whatever uh, graphing tool or new object that might show up in the online homework so the students don't have as much difficulty when they get ready to do it on their own. OIT has been very helpful um, for me in implementing technology into the classroom. Sometimes uh, when I would plug my laptop into the screen, it would tell me I had some kind of a resolution error or something that I didn't understand because it was computer language and I would give them a call and they would send somebody over to my classroom to fix the problem right then so I didn't really um, miss out on what I planned to do that day. Um, also, I've, I've had OIT help me create uh, training documents, not just for the students, but also for our instructors in the math department because we use an online homework system in three or four of our major courses and so we all have to get trained on how to use it, and so they've helped me create training documents that incorporate our online at UT Blackboard system with our online homework. So that's been really helpful. And uh, they've also helped me do some surveys. When we first started using the online homework system, I just wanted an idea of how it was going from the student's perspective. So OIT helped me create an online survey that my students could take. I know that some uh, the stu that the students are able to use their um, smartphones or their laptops rather than a clicker. I have not actually done that yet. I'm still using the actual clickers. So eventually I'll branch out to use the smartphones and the, and the laptops. Although I'm hesitant because I don't know that I really want them to have their phone and their laptop out during class. So that's the reason I've resisted. But if there's something out there and somebody tells me about it, I'm gonna try it because I try, I try everything that there is. If I were to give advice to my colleagues about uh, how to use it, especially people who are hesitant about using it, I would say just try it. Make sure you practice first before you go into your classroom. Pick a day when there's nobody in the room and take your equipment, plug it in. Make sure you know how it works. Uh, call one of the OIT staff to come and help you if you can't get it set up correctly and practice it. Do a, do a trial run before you go. But if something doesn't go right during the class when you plan to use it, just have a backup plan ready. Make, make sure that you have your uh, dry erase marker in case the document camera is not working or in case you can't get the smart board to function. Just make sure you have a backup plan, but you still should try it. <laughs>